Hello everyone, this is Cypher Dyke, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on... Uh, flip sides? <laughs> I couldn't remember for a second, I don't know what I'm thinking. Hey Way, Venral Seth is up, and this is the real one. This isn't the fake one, and guess what? I've contacted several friends who are in some reputable and... Uh, big guilds, and none of them want to come and kill this thing. I need your staff, sir. I need it. And they, uh, they don't care. Apparently, there's a dragon going to be spawning soon. And, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to take this time to take a look at him. Because I don't usually get a chance to do that. He has huge hands. But he has a tiny body. <laughs> I mean, he's not tiny. Um, I'm a gnome though, so it, there is no really comparing. Look at those claws, they're, they're gilded, maybe in gold. And uh, he has a gold belt buckle too, so he's, he's showing that bling. Man, it, I wish there was a robe like this in the game for casters. But uh, yeah, I thought I would just show this. This is pretty cool. Just walking around, couldn't find a group, and boom. Venral Sathir. Look at those eyes. Look at those crazy, blank, blind eyes. I mean, maybe it's all the death magic or all the poison that he's been handling that's made him going blind, but he knows where you are. He knows where you've been sleeping or something. He, he knows when you've been bad or good. Gems on his necklace. That's pretty cool, too. Um... Yeah, see, the claws on the feet, they're not gilded. They're not gilded in that goldness. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I've never really got a chance to look at him up close. I've been to several fights, and for those of you who've never raided or never fought Venral Sather, here's a few little information tips. First off, as the DPS or as not the tank, you want to make sure that you are at max distance to him. So that I think he may have an AOE or it's a short uh, short range AOE. I, again, haven't done it in a while. But I know for a fact that when you kill him, you don't do a heal chain on him. You do a rune chain. So you have enchanters who are casting rune over rune. Making sure that the warrior never has a chance to actually be hit. Which means that healers... Normally don't have to heal the tank except for maybe spot heals or celestial heals. That way he is at least staying up uh, in health. But it's more of a DPS stank. <laughs> Did I say stank and spank? <laughs> uh, tank and spank. Um, it's a it's a fun little fight and probably lasts between thirty seconds to um, thirty to forty seconds. I'd say. It's kind of like Trekanon. Trekanon is another mob that you need to kill really fast because of the fact of his AoEs and, and he can wipe a whole raid uh, as Venral can if you do it wrong. So just, um, yeah. Hey guy, how you doing? Hanging out in your crib with the, the blood orbs on the wall and your skeletal protectors. I was able to get a hold of a friend of mine in Bloodguard and they called their guild they ended up coming and this is the video of them killing vs with myself i was there getting that negative faction you know how it is go fiona bye <laughs> so there's a there's a little bit of an issue in this fight uh, starting out and by the way they had wiped before i ended up uh, actually crashing because of my computer and Whenever I came back, all I saw was corpses all over the ground. So, I think about, I don't know, halfway through this fight, or even earlier, we have a situation where an enchanter, or a wizard, or some kind of caster, just gets pulled straight to Venral Sether, and beat down. And then finally, uh, we'll fight, or whoever is tanking at the moment, gets control of it for a second, and then Salado finally gets killed. Um, so then we're still fighting it, and you'll see coming up in just a few seconds here, everyone turns their attack off. 
because Will is needs to get a proc or something so that he can hold and maintain the the fight the whole time. I got hit even and what I didn't notice until like right now is that Will Fight is using his two-handed version of the epic. I don't know what that procs, but uh it's it's a pretty interesting thing to see a warrior main tanking a contested raid mob w with a two-hander not that there was anyone there to contest everybody was all working on tov dragons or whatever was going on because usually sundays are spawn days for for a lot of the bigger mobs so um finally get it under control and then he's easy to kill if you don't know, he life taps every time he hits you, it seems like, or he can, he can get you, um, he can wipe the, the raid because of the fact that he'll heal himself all the way back up, and by that time, your enchanters are probably running out of mana, and then it's over with, but this, we ended up getting him down, and it was kind of fun. I'm glad that they let me join. They ended up getting seen still legs. Uh, Tolan's legs, I believe. And the wizard epic piece. <laughs> I want that wizard epic so bad, but, you know, I'm not in their guild. I don't have DKP with their guild. So, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, um, it was pretty cool. They were able to get it down. I now have a timer, and um, I will make sure to maintain that timer for as long as I can so that I can try to get my epic at some point with either friends or, or whatever. So, uh, yeah. Um, thank you, Bloodguard, for helping me get a timer, but also thank you for letting me be a part of the fight. It was kind of of fun in that way and i think that's it thank you so much for watching this is cypher back peace out